And Jeremy, a pool would have been nice today with all that humidity. Ugh. As long as you came inside once those thunderstorms rolled through, but then the sun came out once again <laughs> outside. So yeah, to cool off and get all the sweat off in a nice pool would have been very nice. Uh, too bad it's closed, but hopefully there are other pools in your area that you can get out to or maybe a friend's house. Tomorrow is going to be a great pool day as well. Just watch out for some pop up showers and thunderstorms. Have a plan B. Make sure you come inside when you hear those rumbles of thunder and then go back outside once you see the sunshine once again. We got some rain showers right now in Lake Wall and Paw Pack. You can see if you look very closely where the tree is those raindrops falling in the foreground but still some sunshine too so it's almost like a sun shower there look at Williamsport clear skies just some milky skies as we do have some haze in our in our air uh, from those wildfires out west but other than that Williamsport has been quite clear and quite calm today 87 is the current temperature we got up to 87 today here on the dot in Avoca our humidity is at 55 percent so it feels more like 91 and we have winds coming out of the west northwest at seven miles per hour got up to 91 for Williamsport 90 for Sealands Grove 90 also for Allentown town 81 in Mount Pocono. So finally breaking that 80 degree mark there. I know we've hit in the upper 70s, but finally hitting 81 today in Mount Pocono. But those dew points are making it feel real muggy out here, and that's making it feel much hotter than it is on your skin. So we're seeing those temperatures on the thermometer in the 90 degree range, but it's feeling more like the mid 90s, if not upper 90s right now. Temperatures on the thermometer 88 in Lewisburg, 88 for Elysburg, 85 for Lee Heighton, 78 right now in Thornhurst, 89 for Williamsport and still 90 on the dot in Lock Haven. Temperatures are anywhere from zero degrees warmer than they were 24 hours ago there in Binghamton. But from Binghamton south and as west, the warmer it gets compared to yesterday. 13 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago there in State College and 12 degrees warmer for Mill Hall. Satellite and radar showing you those clear skies in central Pennsylvania, but still some lingering showers and thunderstorms rolling through the eastern counties of Pike and Monroe. And that's why near Wake, Lake Wall and Pawpack, we saw those rain showers occurring, those raindrops falling. A heavy downpour right now near Lackawax and headed towards Milford. Delaware going to see it. Coolbaugh Township also going to see it too. These are downpours. They're not thunderstorms. Maybe a strike of lightning or two, but once we're finished up with these, we're cleared out for the rest of the night. This is the larger picture. We got several impulses of moisture that are going to make things unsettled for the next few days and the most unsettled of all I think is Friday morning and early afternoon otherwise we just have a risk for isolated showers and we got to keep the umbrella handy but I think we have a nice stretch of weather just keep yourself weather aware. Uh, I think most of our most of us will remain dry. All of you today in central Pennsylvania remain dry. Tomorrow, I think it'll be a similar story. Look at future clouds and radar remaining clear overnight tonight. Maybe some patchy fog developing in our valleys, especially in our northern tier. Then towards noontime, we see those showers and thunderstorms pop up. They will be juiced because we have so much humidity to work with, but they're hit or miss in nature and they won't be fat. They won't be long lasting. We're going to see them quickly move through in the sunshine once again on the back end. This is a mostly sunny day for your day tomorrow. It will be hot, and with the humidity, it will be especially hot, if not feeling like over 100. Showers and storms possible throughout the late portion of the evening tomorrow as well. Those clear up by the time we get to midnight. More clouds in your morning on Friday. This is your biggest bet for showers. Late Friday morning, early Friday afternoon then they kind of fizzle out. You know, you just have to be in the right place at the right time in order to get one of these thunderstorms. Some of you could remain dry the entire day. Saturday is a repeat, and so is Sunday as well. Here's your dog walking forecast. How to get Seamus in from Lauren. He turns seven today. Happy birthday, Seamus. Looks like a great night to be able to walk your pup. It will be warm and muggy. 67 will be your overnight low. Some patchy fog possible tomorrow morning. And wanted to get in this too. Your fog details could be most dense around five, six, and seven in the morning, but this is what I really did want to get to, and that's what it's going to feel like on your skin tomorrow. At five o'clock, it will feel like 101 in Danville, feeling like 103 in Stillwater, feeling like 100 in Stroudsburg, and a similar story for your Friday, feeling like over the 100 degree mark for both Stillwater, Stroudsburg, and also Lee Heighton, too. Here's your seven day forecast 91 on the dot for your thermometer forecast, but feeling more like the upper 90s, if not over 100. Friday, we'll have temperatures near the 90 degree mark once again. Scattered showers and thunderstorms most likely in the early afternoon. Similar story for your weekend, Carrie. More clouds on your Saturday than what you have on your Sunday, but nothing to cancel your outdoor plans for. Just make sure you remain weather aware. Thank you, Jeremy. Much appreciated. Yep.